Sweet Peter Rovage. My beliefs for experience is your key to the impossible. So thank you guys for viewing this cool book update video. So if you guys are not well aware of this and you're like possibly a new, either a new subscriber or a new viewer of my videos, uh, my book update videos are in relation to me writing my book. But what I'm doing is doing each update. I'm telling you a topic that I'm thinking about while writing my book. Um, so you guys will, you know, know what's to come and something that's kind of in the book. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a bit of a teaser, a bit of a informational, bit of a, you know, inspirational kind of thing. So, uh, let's get right into it. So I want to talk to you guys today about a particular post that I made and it's getting some, you know, it's getting good review and bad reviews. I mean, 90% are good reviews. Okay. But there are a few, you know, that don't agree and that's okay. You know, they're, they're entitled to their opinions. I'm entitled to mine. You know, that's just how it works. So Basically, I put out there on Facebook and on my Facebook groups that I prefer to be considered as a person with blindness, not a blind person. And the reason being is because I believe that the context of the person and the choices that they make and what they do in life and who they are are significantly more important than the physical um, physical characteristics or physical genetic differences between humans. See, because if you say blind person, you're automatic, you're automatically separating them from being just a person. You're calling them a blind person. You're putting them in a category. If you say person who is blind, they're a person who just happens to have blindness. That's it. They're still a person. You're not putting them in a category. And this is my, you know, this is something that I very firmly believe in because it it shows that the person is more important than the disability or whatever characteristic it is. I mean, yes, this will not work in all scenarios, but in my personal belief is that it works in this one. It sounds great. It projects the proper thing that I want people to see and to hear. And thus that's, you know, that's what I consider myself and everyone, you know, there are people out there you know, who commented on it and said, well, if you put person, uh, before blindness, um, you know, if you say person with blindness, then apparently I'm not giving blindness its proper cred, you know, that someone, you know, that apparently that I'm ignoring the, the, that people will ignore the fact that a person is blind. I'm saying, no, you don't ignore you know, the reason why I'm saying person with blindness is not to ignore the blindness. It is to say it that is a lesser, um, a lesser quality thing that you should take from someone. You know, what you should take from someone is, you know, who they are, what they do, how they do it, what, you know, why they went through life, what are they doing? You know, that's what you should be taking from people. You shouldn't be taking, oh, he's a blind person. Well, you know, I mean, and people do, but I just, you know, I would want people to take the experience of meeting someone first. Like, you know, they're, they're a hard worker, they... Um, you know, like in my case, you know, I persevere through my challenges, I'm doing art, you know, I'm doing all these different things. You know, I want people to see those first before they see my blindness. Although the blindness is a part of me, that's why I'm saying don't ignore the characteristic. And I'm not trying to say to ignore the characteristic. I'm just saying that the human aspect and the person aspect and the, the what you do in life is a lot more quality and a lot more of a thing that you should take from meeting someone than, you know, them being blind or them being, you know, a different skin color or them being, you know, a different ethnicity and all these different numerous things that we have problems with the world because we all look at our physical genetic differences from each other as our skin, our disabilities, our mental differences, all these different things. And it's just like, why can't we be seen as people? We need to be seen as people first and then the characteristics. I'm not, you know, and that's what I'm saying is that the characteristic has to be there, but it cannot be the primary of who someone is. What they do, how they do it, and why they do it is why they are who they are. That's what defines them. It's not some sort of disability or characteristic or skin color or ethnicity. That's what I'm saying. All right. If you, if you agree with me, I encourage you, 
like, favorite, and share this video because that would be so awesome. If you do not agree with me, I respect your opinion. It's totally fine. Um, I, I'm up for, you know, some comments, but keep them clean. And uh, yeah, so leave them in the comments below. If you want to learn more about me, my artist statement and social media links are in the description so you can learn how to join the hashtag Perseverance Movement. Um, otherwise, uh, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe because there's more great content coming out. I just don't want you to miss it. Um, and I also don't want you to miss the great opportunity to check out some past great content because there's been some really, really cool stuff that has come out. Um, if you guys are not subscribers or you are subscribers, no matter who you are, can you support the hashtag Purple Pete? Um, the hashtag is for that if I get 500 subscribers by the end of 2015, I will turn my hair purple. And it's not for the reason of the number. It's for the reason to have the opportunity to inspire that amount of people. I want an audience of that size. I want to hit that milestone. And I thought, why not try to hit that milestone and have a little bit of fun with it? So thank you guys so very much for viewing this book update video. It was so awesome for you to be here. Remember that perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I will see you guys in next Saturday's video.